Okay guys, today I'm gonna install a uh, phone mount onto my E46 M3 here. Let's uh, call up. Um, I just bought this uh, magnet mount. Um, I'll put a picture on the top. Um, so I can show you guys uh, how to install this thing. Alright, let's get started. Uh, First of all, here's the tool you're supposed to use. Okay, when you remove this trim here, I uh, would suggest you to use some kind of, you know, uh, upholstery uh, prying tool, something like this. It's just like very, it's a plastic. What you want to do is um, you can just slide in like that and then kind of pry it off and it will come out. So there is like a metal stud that uh, attach to this trim on the back of this trim so so that's that's kind of protrude inside of that uh, female uh, I don't know what it is you know that hold the trim so again all you gotta do is just using one of these plastic trim and pry it off like that okay that's what I highly recommend you to use don't use like Oh, flat hatch screw driver or anything like that. You might hurt this trim. It's pretty easy to remove using this trim. That's all you gotta do, guys. All right. I already uh, pry it out. So this is how it looks. Now this is just to, for this side, but you need to remove this as well. Oh, this one. Oh man. All right. All right. So do you want you want to remove this? Uh, screw here it's a 10 millimeter unfold that we're gonna use that bolt to mount the unit so okay now here is the bracket um get the bracket out from here And okay, so the bracket is like that. Yeah. Okay, and then get the nuts and screw. Just kind of pull tight by hand, but. Just tight it a little bit. This is probably like ten inch pound. You don't want it too. You don't want it more tight. Yeah, that's about it. And then you just gotta uh, put this uh, trim back in. Back in, piece back in, okay, everything snuck back in, alright, and see how it stick out like this, that's where you install your mounting, this is your bracket only, That you, there's a mounting, magnet mounting that go inside this hole here and mount it, I will show you what I mean. So this is how another part came in. It's a like a little ball here. These will go inside of this. You gotta unscrew this to loose it, and then slide this ball inside it so it can swivel back and forth. And there's a here's a nut in the back here. It's a hex. I mean not a nut. It's a bolt. Back here you have to loose it up. So you're gonna put this like that inside the hole and use that nut to install it from the back okay this is how it look okay so this uh screw this uh screw here it have that star washer in there so don't lose that star washer that star washer is gonna help block it so it won't you know 
moving around so you just slide it from the back if you screw it from back here and go into this uh, ball here in the back and then you just thread it in so when you thread it in and you can turn this as well to make it tighter so I already I already turned this on I already tied this already so this thing is very tight now so see it's very strong and sturdy and then the next thing you want to do is see it come with these magnet right here and there's a you know thread on the back as well see a little thread there so with the thread and well so what you want to do you want to put the slider cap in here first like that and then slide these open slide into the ball like that and then we'll clip it in and then just screw that cap, let that plastic nut in like that all you gotta do see now it's tight now if you want it a little bit more stiff from turning you're gonna just keep tightening that uh, nut back there and it will secure more stiffener from swivel back and forth so I think I'm just doing it hand tight right now should be good enough see now it's pretty strong that's it guys pretty simple came with these two uh, magnet adhesive um, well it's not magnet it's, it's, it's metal but they have an adhesive on one side so you can place this on the back of your phone and then your phone will just stick on top of it like that see how it stick up so let me put this brown one on the back of the case of my phone oh easy to install that's it like that see that it's very strong it grabs so nice so you can move back and forth like this swivel back and forth too yeah it's so convenient it's so nice perfect perfect position right there awesome design i like that I was trying to modify something like that, you know, mount something here and, you know, do some drilling, but I don't want to do something like that. It was very sturdy, strong, you can feel it. The magnet's pretty strong, see, now you can swivel this way, just like that, so when I try, want to watch a video or something like that, and this thing go nowhere very very strong i love it okay so that's how it is now i don't have to you know struggle put it down here like that and then when i turn it this thing gonna flop it off you know that's not good and sometimes you come out this way and go under the you know, foot paddle right there it's kind of dangerous so this is an excellent excellent um mounting for the phone so you can see it's pretty clean and it's very small this thing is pretty you know swivel back and forth too and you can adjust the, the screw back here to tighten it even more you know stronger so this thing won't flop back and forth it's a pretty neat design pretty cool um, simple just a bracket mounting back here and just stick it out and just flush out so clean so you can make when you move around no problem at all awesome awesome design I like it so yep there you go guys I recommend you to buy that if you have an E46 not just an M3 E46 it do exact the same thing same mounting location 
same process. So, yep, I love it. So, I don't like the one that you know, the sucking cup going on through the windshield and stick out. It's kind of, it's not privacy at all. I mean, people can see it up here. That's for my personal opinion. So I rather put it down here. It's more private and it's easy for your eye level as well. So it's a perfect design. I love it. I love it. It's a, it's good. It's good design to me. I would highly recommend it. So I will put a link below to let you guys see it if you want to buy that. So I basically I bought a lot of stuff from ECS Tuning. So what that is the website ECS Tuning and to get all these uh, products. So all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you like it, right. 